hello, I'm Michael. Today we're going to go over frost diagrams uh, in addition to the wonderful lecture you had. So that'll be good. My main aim is to get it uh, right this time. So this is the example we had in the lecture. And as you'll remember, the, um, the projector was, was broken, which was sad. Uh, a little bit for you and a lot for me. <laughs> um, because you often be presented with this kind of data and actually analysing it and manipulating it is not straightforward. Not straightforward. Oh no, I've drawn... I've drawn on that. Hang on. Maybe... No, it's just another line. It's just another one. Uh... No. Nope. Oh, how about this one? Yes, look at that. It's rubbing out some of it. <laughs> yes. Good, so glad to have you along for the ride. The first thing to do is to work out which direction you are going in. And the key thing to know here is that you are starting in the zero oxidation state. So because the frost diagram starts at the origin of the graph, you are going to start at the zero oxidation state, and then you're essentially going to go backwards through this data that I've given you. So you're going to go from titanium metal in solution to titanium monoxide. So this is titanium in the plus two state, having been in the plus zero state, if you like. From there, we're going to go up some more oxidation states. We're going to go to Ti2O3, which I think is titanium in the plus 3 oxidation state. And from there, we're going to go to titanium 4 in the form of titanium dioxide. Uh, it's a lovely white powder, which is present in wall paint and in sun cream. Yeah, that's just a fact for you there, so it can soak up UV light so you don't get burned. You're so welcome for this positive effect of transition metals on your life. This directionality, going from titanium 0 to titanium 4 plus, plus 4, is the opposite way to the way the data is presented in the table. The opposite way. That means it will have the opposite sign. So this first step is not uh, going down in volts by 2.12. It's now going up in volts, plus 2.12. The second step, the same thing is true. We're going the other direction, so we flip the sign of the number. So we're going plus 1.95. And that third step, the same thing happens for this different number. So we're going plus uh, 1.38. That's not a very convincing number there. Let's, um, yeah, a little decimal point there. It's pretty great. And the subtlety with this first step is that n equals 2. This is a two electron process. We're going to come in just a moment with how to deal with that. So, how big are those energy gaps? Well, you should know that delta G in an electrochemical context is equal to minus n, the number of electrons in the process, multiplied by the Faraday constant, multiplied by the electropotential E0. If we divide both sides by the Faraday constant, F, and divide that out of the right-hand side there, we've now got an expression in which the y-axis of our diagram is equal to something we can calculate given the data available. So what is delta G over F? Let's do that in blue alongside. It's N here, the number of electrons in the process, multiplied by 
the potential of the process. So for this first step, it's going to be... Oh, it's not a great start, is it? Minus n is 2 multiplied by plus 2.12, which equals minus 4.24. Here, when n equals 1, all you have to do is to flip that sign because of the negative sign in this expression. So for this step here, delta g over f is going to be minus 1.95. And for this step here, similarly, delta g over f is going to be minus 1.38. How does that play out in our diagram? To get to the plus 2 state, to get to titanium dioxide, we need to go down in energy by 4.24. We're going to go down in energy when we go to the plus 3 state by 1.95. And for that last step, going to the plus 4 state, we're going to descend in energy by 1.3. So the plot we're going to draw, well, let's do a, a charming blue, is going to plot the oxidation state along the x-axis. Oxidation number, so we're going to start at the origin at 0. And we don't have a plus 1 state, so we're going to breeze on through that. We do have a plus two state with that titanium monoxide. Uh, we have a plus three state, and we have a plus four state. And what we are plotting up the y-axis is delta G divided by the Faraday constant F. This is important. So things up in this region are going to be high energy. Things down here will be low energy. That's super important. Super important. Having found that eraser key, I can now do that extremely smoothly. Look at us learning. We always start at the origin. This is a free mark, if I ask you this in the exam. Putting a cross at the start. So the zero state is defined as having zero energy because we are just comparing the energies relative to that zero state. We are defining it. We are choosing to define it as zero. Let's flip back to our route. We're going to go down in energy to the plus two state by 4.24 easy next step so we're going down again by 1.95 which is going to take us to oh maths minus 6 point one nine. So we're going to go down again by 1.38, which will take us to minus 7.57. So let's extend that y-axis super neatly. And then we join up the dots. I wonder, I wonder if this time it's the right way around. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Beautiful diagram. And that is how you do a frost diagram <laughs> correctly. Sorry for any confusion along the way.